All right, first exercise we're doing today is a braking exercise. Really basic. I'm trying to pull my helmet on. Yeah, I mean, just take it take it easy for a few times, but you know, in this thing, if you hammer, you're probably, you can probably reach about 80. You can gauge your speed, and then uh -huh. you'll decide when he jumps one way or the other. Okay. Right, if he jumps to the left, your left, steer to the right and brake really hard. Okay. Break? Oh yeah, you can yeah. give it a lot more. Break. Okay, all right. <laughs> pick up your throttle. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. All right, yeah. <laughs> the crowd loves. The crowd loves the show. Straight into oversteer. <laughs> I like it. Okay, now lift off and then hit it. There you go. Nice. All right. So lift off the gas and then hit it. There you go. Balance it, balance it. Keep it going, keep it going. Oh, almost. So there you go, brand new steering wheel. We got for the Supra. I wanna say big thanks to FT Speed for shipping this out super duper fast. I'll put a link down in the description below if you're looking for any of these products. Not only that, I also got a 10% discount code. So if you're looking to save some money, help me out. We all get to win. Make sure to use my discount code. I'll have it in the description. But the steering wheel looks absolutely fantastic. The stitching looks really, really good. I don't see any stitches sticking out. Nothing wrong with the threads. Nice, soft, and plush. I really like that. Now you're probably wondering, why didn't I get a carbon fiber steering wheel? Which what most people do when they're upgrading their steering wheel. Well, one of the reasons why I like soft touch materials and I, I've had carbon fiber steering wheels in the past. I've even also had one of those fancy LED ones, but I've always went back to soft touch, a soft touch Alcantara style steering wheel. It just seems more comfortable to me. Um, I don't, I'm just not a fan of hard touch materials on a steering wheel. That's just me. If you are, if it doesn't bother you, cool. Um, nothing wrong with it. I think it actually looks better than this, but I just like the overall user experience of a full Alcatar steering wheel. I have a similar type steering wheel, full Alcatar in my STI. It's held up just fine over the past couple of years. Just as long as you're not eating, you know, French fries and tacos in your car, then you should be fine. Just make sure that, you know, you have clean hands and you maintain it every once in a while. And your Alcatar should last you for a very, very long time. I also got these replacement paddles. I got this on what do you call it, Mashi Maro? I'll also put a link down in the description below for replacement battles to replace these old, or not the old, but the stock stubbies that are installed. Also got these replacement, what do you call these, reflector, paint match reflector deletes, which is pretty cool. I'm not gonna do a video on this, you guys don't wanna see all that. But yeah, super duper excited for the steering wheel. I've never installed a steering wheel on a Supra, so hopefully I don't jack it up. But you know what, if you don't do it, you're not gonna learn. But anyways, like I said, link it down in the description below. Make sure you use my discount code. Let's go ahead and install this dang thing. Alright, 
Wow, that is just a little bit thicker than stock. Not too thick, but just thick enough. Much bigger improvement over stock, I might say. Yeah, much better. So next, we just gotta transfer all of this stuff into here, put on the new paddles, and we should be good to go. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but the aftermarket one is a flat bottom style, and the OEM one is just a round style. I am a fan of flat bottom steering wheels. It's just easier to get in and out of the car. Of course, you guys know, if you own a Supra, you know, ingress and egress in a Supra, you know, is a little bit difficult, especially if you're a taller person. So having a flat bottom steering wheel just gives you that extra clearance um, down in the thigh area. Awesome. How the hell do you do this? How do those connectors come out? I have no idea. Everyone makes it look so easy online, man. up here somewhere what the hell is that connect to oh this the airbag okay something like that let's connect this oh this is red oh well it'll work supposed to be blue just a little dab okay we're gonna torque that down to oh, i think around 40 foot pounds or so they say oh that looks really good i'm loving it that's oh yeah so much better in stock hell yeah i had to go back and undo everything and unhook this part right here because i forgot the connection for the steering wheel controls oops there you go oh yeah much much better i love the way it looks heck yeah now, let's go ahead and reconnect the negative battery terminal. Let's just hope this airbag just doesn't blow up on me. And yeah, we're good to go. Love it so much better. so far i'm not gonna lie to you guys may not be the fastest but hey it's still super fun learned a lot it's good to get back into rear wheel drive once again all right so let's have a little chat about this little steering wheel here so much more room in the thigh area it's easier to get in and out and you know if you guys are a super owner you guys know this there is a very low roof line so just having that extra room to get in and out of the super so much better I'm telling you guys i highly suggest a flat bottom steering wheel i know some of you may not be a fan of a flat bottom steering wheel i totally get it but it does help i mean it really does every little inch helps
All right, so let's talk about this steering wheel and give you guys my final thoughts of this lovely aftermarket Alcantara steering wheel. I absolutely love it. I've had it on for about a week now, even took it on the track day, which you guys may have seen already in the previous clips. But yeah, it's just a lovely, simple, OEM plus look steering wheel. Now I've told you guys in the past that I'm not a fan of carbon fiber steering wheels with hard touch. I just don't like hard touch materials on the steering wheel. This is nice, plush and soft. But with that said, I'm not driving the super every day. This is not my daily driver. This pretty much sits in the garage one because it's winter. So, and if you, if you are driving your car every day and you have dirty hands, you know, because you work at a place where your hands are dirty, Alcantara is probably not the type of steering wheel or material that I would recommend for a steering steering wheel now with that said when it comes to overall user experience of this steering wheel absolutely love it no complaints whatsoever we had it out on track i wore gloves and I, there were times where i didn't wear gloves no issues whatsoever but i love the overall grip on track uh, with the alcantara steering wheel much better than the oem uh, leather i must say but one thing that i did not show on camera was me struggling to get this airbag out now on the uh driver not driver yeah driver side it took me about five minutes but when it came to the passenger side it took me about 15 minutes in order for me to find the spring so i can depress it to take this airbag out once the airbag out it's pretty much smooth sailing after that it's about transferring the old stuff into the new steering wheel and you're pretty much good to go after that now with that said i don't think this is something you can go wrong with you know if you're not driving your car every day highly recommend um, alcantara it just gives you that nice oem plus like look which is what i'm going for i just didn't want the interior your um, components to look um, to aftermarket now with that said I uh, I forgot to mention that those um, paddles that I purchased they just did not work they just didn't fit so I have to order new ones so the reason that's the reason why you see the uh, OEM paddles still on there it just didn't fit I don't know I don't know what to tell you guys but you know it is what it is but anyways uh, if you guys are looking for an aftermarket steering wheel like this I will have a link down in the description below I also have a 10% discount code please use that discount code if you are going Going to purchase something on FT Speed. It helps you out. It also helps me out. And I really do appreciate you when you guys use my uh, coupon code. But anyways, that is it for me today. Um, we got some more super stuff to film. A bunch of STI content we got to film because I know you guys are asking about STI content. We have a whole bunch to film, so I just have to find time to do it. But anyways, that is it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys supporting the channel. You guys are awesome. Stay awesome, and we'll talk to you guys later. Peace.